Hi everybody, it's Lori, and today we're doing this cool steampunk magnet using Xyron and Maya Road products. So let's jump in. First thing you're going to use your Create a Sticker, and this is my one and a half inch, and I'm just covering some Graphic 45 paper. Then I'm going to take this cute little chipboard bird, and I'm also going to cover um, in a piece of chipboard an L. Same way, just run it through my Create a Sticker, makes a sheet of sticker, pop your chipboard on, and then I cut them out using my X-Acto tool. You can get pretty good and close, pretty good detail, but I will come in and finish up the detailing in some of the tiny crevices and corners with my fine files. If it's not fine little detail work, you can just use sometimes a sanding block will work fine. So you get those all nice and neat. There I am filing away. And then the next thing is we've got this cute little tin from Maya Rhodes and that's going to kind of be the base of our magnet. So I'm actually stamping on it and I'm using the Versamark ink and then I'm going to emboss and I'm using aqua, an orange, black because those are the colors in my um, paper line that I'm using and then I came in with some bronze at the end which I haven't done yet so right now you just see I'm using all three of the different colors going and heat bossing and setting it and then coming back over stamping some more gears these stamps are from the graphic 45 the same collection that the papers from and there's the black. Black really pops on it. I like that. It kind of grounds the whole design of it. And then I'm adding a little bit more stamping. Just making a really nice modeled background. This is actually going to be covered over with the clear resin. Now I'm taking the, the edges and I'm dipping it in the Versamark pad. And why I'm doing that is I'm going to take some chunky embossing powder and you know all different companies make this this is by wow but there are lots of different companies that make it and this is a really nice bronze and so it's going to give a nice metallic finish to the piece I then am taking some clear distressing ink you could also use the clear Versamark reinker and I'm paint brushing in some areas of the silver little heart tray that I want to cover over with some of the bronze and you're going to see when I do this, it's a little bit much. I didn't want quite that much in it. So now I'm going to come back in with my paintbrush before I heat emboss it and kind of whisk away some of the embossing powder in those areas to show a little more of my underlying gears. And there it is, all heat embossed. Now these are the Maya Craft Build a Flowers. And I've just done the top one with orange. The bottom one's going to be done with aqua, and then you put them all together with just a brad. And these look awesome because they almost look like suede when they're done. Now, I do change the design around a little bit when I finish this up, so just watch my video <laughs> and see the finished product. But for the little bird, I'm punching a hole in the chipboard, and I'm going to attach the little charmed wing with a brad. But I want the wing, since it is a um, more of a golden color, I want it to blend in with my bronze. So I am actually heat embossing the edges so all the metals will blend throughout the project. And this gets a little crazy. <laughs> I want to show you how it looks close up and I go a little wild with the camera so bear with me. But there you can kind of see the effect that it gives um, when you're finished and it's great. And I actually ended up on the finished product adding two of those wings. There I have some O-rings to hang from my project if I wanted to. Since I changed it, I didn't do that. I added on with the foam tape, but it's easy enough. Punched a hole in the little bit of the tin where I can hang, and then this is the foam tape. It's in the Teresa Collins Xyron kit. I'm adding that to my L, which I'm going to place down in my tin, and it gives a lot of dimension, a lot of layers to the project. This is the magic. This is Xyron Magnet Tape. It's great. 
Um, it absolutely, um, this magnet, as heavy as it is, it sticks to my refrigerator, no problem. So I love it. It's really so super easy to use. Got everything ready. And now I'm going to kind of finish and draw everything together with a little bit of ice resin. This is just an epoxy jeweler's grade resin. Mixed it all up. But I've got that little hole at the bottom. So I actually used my um, Zyron adhesive dots to fill in that little hole just while my resin sets and it won't pour out the hole. It was a great trick. I loved doing this. And I've added resin. I ended up adding a little more resin. I wanted it a little bit deeper. But there again, my little Zyron adhesive dot just made a dam for me. So there I'm letting it all set. But I want to add a few mica sparkles, and these you just flick on. This is actually colored mica. Flick it on with a dry brush, and it gives a nice little shimmer to your finished magnet. And there it is all finished. I think it turned out beautiful. I love it. Doesn't the flower look like suede? So we've got a few close-up shots for you. There you can see the background. Um, the resin over the top of the embossing is just beautiful. It just really melds it all together, and I think those wings on that bird there's no doubt it's going to take flight. There it is a little bit more in the flower there again with the resin topped off with a, a little button. So catch more of my work on my blog. Thanks so much. Be sure to stop by Zyron and also by Maya Road and see some great products. Thanks so much.